was early this week when flooding on the Messelschall River began swallowing communities in our area. Roads are closed and people are still evacuated from their homes as the river continues to flow above flood stage. From county to county along the Musselshell, the scene from overhead shows miles and miles of destruction. People's livelihoods now underwater. Anywhere along the river, it's out of its banks, still out of its banks and we don't see any relief for a while. Flooding in Roundup began early Thursday morning and it's the hardest hit community along the river. The biggest issue the city is facing right now is obviously the flood water, but the biggest concern is now drinking water. We've contacted DES and, and the state and we're, we're getting water purchased and we're brought in and we have two to three days maybe four days worth of water in our cistern now. We've heard a lot of rumors saying that we were shutting the water off now. We aren't and the water's fine, they can use it, we're using it out of our storage tank now, it's fine. If they will just conserve water and not waste any. In addition to water and food, there's other concerns that are growing the longer the town is cut off from main road travel. Everything, you know, garbage collection, they can't get here to pick up our garbage that we're hauling, our sewers, our lift stations are down, so yeah, it, pretty much everything we deal with. As for relief efforts. Until we get in the cleanup phase, and we can get, the water actually goes down. There's not a lot we can do that stuff that's already flooded. The best thing we can do right now is we're trying to divert it and try and keep things from flooding other places. The original old Milwaukee Railroad tracks act as a buffer and a dike between the river and the community here. So we're in the process of trying to rebuild that right now to shut off the water coming into Roundup. Once we can accomplish that, then, then we can start pumping the water out. Until then, the city is managing the best it can. It's just a waiting game at this time. Things just change daily, so we try to deal with them on that basis. From the Muscle Shell River with photographer Paul Humphrey, I'm Angela Douglas from Montana's news station.